Georgia and I'm Liat and today we're going to be making an orange and poppy seed cake decorated with dried fruit. So all I'm going to do while Liat gets on with the cake is cut an orange and a lemon quite thinly. So let's get started on making these sponges. So you can see that we have a really nice thick batter going on here. Adding about half the amount of the flour there. Bring it up. Half the milk. So I'm just going to give this a little mix by hand and make sure nothing's stuck at the bottom. Smells good already. So filling the tins as evenly as possible. Right now we're going to prepare our Swiss meringue buttercream, which we're going to use for filling our cakes. important when you're measuring the temperature to keep it mixing, otherwise it's just going to read one point. Okay, that is up to temperature. butter just yet so we're going to leave this to cool just standing like this and get on with preparing the cake and a nice sugar syrup to soak the cake with. Okay so that's all dissolved in now. Take it off the heat. So now that our cake layers are ready, we're just going to add some simple, some of the orange syrup that we prepared. Alright, so the meringue has completely cooled. There is no more heat on the bowl. That's very important because now we're going to add the butter. So I'm going to better mix it down and put it onto a medium speed. And I'm not going to touch the speed until the buttercream is formed. and make sure all that mer meringue and buttercream is mixed in. That's the buttercream bowl. You can see how light and fluffy it is. So I'm just going to give it one last mix. So firstly, we just want to put some buttercream so I'm going to take them now, and then I'm going to type on a bit of hole, the rim. Take off that excess buttercream and 
we want some of the cake to be showing underneath, give it that really sweet rustic look. Yum! Look at those layers! 